General Hospital Answer Reviews and Reviews. I've been sitting on this theory since yesterday. It's theories about now. Are you ready? Let's go down the rabbit hole. Hi. Nell theories. Nell theories. Yes, my son's back there and he won't buzz off. So it's going to be Ethan interrupted today. Hi, Ethan. Hi. Yeah. Um, so Nell theories. I have one of two theories. Uh, remember last time, I earlier in the week, I think, that hi, Gray, that I wiggled in there that Nell seems to want to wedge her way in and take Carly's place and like control the whole family. I'm gonna go out on a limb and do one better. This is my big theory, and this is my big moment. It's a little bit crazy, a little bit nuts, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Are you ready? Nell planted the bomb or rigged the car somehow to explode. Curtis is going to find this out when he does this investigation. And he did. she did that to separate, no matter who it was supposed to kill, it wasn't necessarily supposed to kill Morgan. But it was supposed to, she knew Carly at, was pleading with Sonny not to do something stupid. So the stupid thing happened anyway, and that split them up. I think... Nell is angling to hop into bed, especially after the end of that last episode, hop into bed with Sonny. And somehow have his child, maybe? Maybe. I'm not sure he has enough kids. I don't really know. But he is, she's trying to angle herself in there and put herself in the position of Mrs. Corinthos and take over the head of the family thing, like the matriarchy. Um, that's my thoughts <coughs> on that one. Um... Hi, Grayson. You're ornery. <laughs> He's doing the hokey pokey. <laughs> um, yeah, stop. You're a little camera, baby. But then, um, you can do it over there. But, um, I had more than that, and then my kid distracted me. Oh, there's the spoiler. I'm gonna throw a little spoiler out, because... Because I, you know, I look at the spoilers. I love the spoilers. And spoilers for the week of Monday, October 17th, on Monday, it says Nell offers her support. Now, we all know in, in you know, soap opera land, support means bedtime. Grown up bedtime. Hurting sex, as we recalled it the other day. We're on the level. Um, yeah, so. I think she's wiggling her way in. I think she's crazy. I think she's crazy. But it's going to be really interesting. So, that's what I've got. There's also a rumor going around that with Jason leaving, um, I call him Jason, his name is Steve Burton, leaving Young and the Restless, that there's a lot of fans are hoping that he shoots back into General Hospital as, say, the real... Jason, the Jason's really back, and that this new guy, the guy who's played by Billy, Billy Miller, is a plant by Helena, and he's not the real Jason or something, and that would be, like, life-shattering crazy, but I'm hearing they did this on Young and the Restless once before, and I know they did something very similar with Todd in One Life to Live. So they would kind of be double-dipping into storylines in other places, and fans will pick that up. So I don't know if they're going to go there. I don't know what Steve Burton has coming down the pike, other than the voiceover work that I know he has coming. But that would be an interesting little thing. It has not been debunked, so I'll link to that little article, little snip there, too, for the next time. Um, but until then, Nell, something's up with Nell. Also, Bobby supposedly recognizes something up with her, so I'm looking forward to that, too. Um... Oh, my other weird theory with her was that she might not be into men. She might hook up with Christina. She's an undeclared character as of now. So she is free and open, and she might be Christina's next thing. It would be interesting. I don't know how likely that's going to be. But I, I veer more toward the takeover, the Corinthus family takeover than that. So that's just me, though. Um... Guess we gotta wait till Monday to find out. <laughs>
Um, I will probably be on again tomorrow, setting this all up. Hi, Ethan. I know you see yourself, sweetie. I know. Good, because you're only and cute. <laughs> Come on over, little. My kids are both home, and they want to say hi. Oh, there's a magical appearing Grayson. Hi, baby. Say hi. Hi, people. Ethan, say hi, people. Ethan, you can say hi, people. Hi, people. Yeah, I know, because you're cute and watching your little songs. My little cutie pie. Oh, you're singing for the people? Okie dokie, and with that, we're going out to the Pokemon theme song. Courtesy of my little baby. Okay, well, I will be back tomorrow with some kind of news or some kind of something. It will be interesting no matter what I do, even if I'm not quite there yet. Um, there was a suggestion from my loyal follower, my one especially loyal follower, um, about doing a Cassidy family video. And that is actually very interesting. Um, doing like a Cassidy, like a bloodline, like a family tree, and like the history of the family and that kind of stuff. I'm probably going to look into doing that. It actually sounds like a lot of fun. Um, it'll take a couple weeks. I've got to do the research and the collection and video and pictures and all the fun stuff. So I really want to make it good. So look out for that maybe next week or the week after. But until then, we're just going to have some videos with news and theories and craziness. <laughs> so I will see you guys later. Bye. 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 Move your head. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Let me knock you over. <sighs> Bye.